Well, I'm here with Dr. Mark Hilton, who's a veterinarian with Purdue University, and we're at the Academy of Veterinary Consultants meeting in, in Denver. It's a large group of veterinarians who, who work in the, in the beef cattle practice. And um, Dr. Hilton, I wanted to talk with you about some of the, the drought-related issues in, in the cow-calf operations as, as we go into the winter months. A uh, lot of producers probably short on, on hay and on forage and, and using some alternative feeds and maybe their cow herd not in the best nutritional condition. And you know, what you're seeing out in the field and what, what kind of recommendations you have for producers who might be facing some you know, unusual circumstances going into the winter. All right, thanks, John. Yeah, actually in Indiana, we got a little bit of rain in August and September and the pastures came back, so we're probably in better shape than a lot of folks are. But the first thing I tell people is if you got corn stalks to graze, graze them, because it's a cheap feed. It really covers the nutritional requirements of the cow for about 60 days. Um, you need some protein or some vitamin and mineral supplementation. And then, you know, look at the manure of the cows. See, uh, you know, my dad taught me 40 years ago when the manure starts stacking up, the cow's not getting enough protein, so she needs to have some alfalfa or some kind of protein in there. But that's the first thing I tell guys. The second thing is, if you're limited on hay, the worst thing to do is feed hay 24 seven, because the cow will waste between 20 and 30% of that hay, according to Purdue research. So what we've done is, a lot of places, we put a hay pad in, and there's places on the web you can look up how to build those so that you've got some solid footing. The cow's walking in the mud, they waste energy. So we'll put this hay pad down and then put the, um, hay rings on that hay pad and put a hot wire, electric wire around it. Let that, those cows in for between four and six hours a day and that's it, that's all they get. And the weight gain of the cows is the same, everything's the same, but you have 20 to 30% less wastage of that hay. So that's, that's huge. And when I walk or drive by a farm and see the cows with 24 seven access to hay, mud all around the hay feeder and hay all over the ground, it just, I just shake my head because I think, wow, the guy is just throwing money away hand over fist. So um, the other thing we see is lots of distillers grain and gluten, corn gluten used for cow feeds and can be fabulous, fabulous feeds. Work with your nutritionist, extension educator, veterinarian, or somebody and help get a ration put together because we've got high sulfur in these feeds, high phosphorus. There's issues that need to be taken care of. They're great feeds. I'm not trying to scare you. We have tons of herds using large, large amounts of gluten and distillers for their, for their feed, but you need to balance it for the, for the minerals that, that need to be taken care of. And really the, the goal for the cow-calf producer is to keep that cow in, in decent condition through the, through the winter and make sure that she's in, in good condition in the, at, at calving time. That's, that's right. I'd say on it, to me nutrition is give her everything she needs and no more than that. We don't want to waste money on nutrition, but we also can't starve that cow to death and, and make a profit of her. I want her in great shape when she has that calf in the, in the spring, so that's very important. Are there any particular health issues that you've seen uh, this fall or coming into this winter that uh, producers should be aware of? We haven't right now, but what I'm worried about is the guys that didn't have that bit of rain afterwards and the cows are going into winter in too thin a shape. They're going to have weak calves, they're going to have poor quality and quantity of colostrum. And once you get into, if you've got a, a March calving herd, once you get into February, you know, you're, you're, it's too late. You can't, you can't solve that problem. So, you know, it's December right now. So right now is the time to say, hey, my cows are too thin. I've got to do something today to get them back on track.